What's going on guys? My name is Vern and welcome to FIFA 19 career mode. Now, I know some of you are not going to like football, not going to like FIFA, not even going to like EA, but I enjoy career modes. I'm not doing that whole uh, ultimate team where I spend £2,000 to, to open packs or anything like that. None of that here. We're just going to go with career mode and we're going to go with my favourite team, Man United. I know they're a big team. But, um, yeah, they need a bit of rebuilding and uh, want to see them return to their former glory. So, let's start afresh. So, anyway, no more mucking about. Let's get started. Okay, so we've got the pre-season tournament invite. So let's, uh, let's advance to invites. I think for the first episode, what we're going to do is we're going to mainly focus on transfers. I'm going to simulate uh, the Carabao Cup. Um, pre-seasons, maybe FA Cup, I'm not sure. I will definitely be playing all of the Champions League and all of the league cells. Um, what else have I done? Oh, I've also put it to four-minute halves, just so we can kind of squeeze some more matches in. And, yeah. Right, let's have a look. We've got the American Challenge Cup, which can give us 11 million. But that's got Real, PSG, Barcelona, and Bayern, and Atletico. Um, we can go a bit... You know what? Let's not muck about. Let's. Having said that, the Invitational Cup's looking pretty good. Let's go for the. Uh, let's go for the American Challenge Cup. We might as well. Might as well come up against the best teams. Okay. So, it's the first time I've actually gone into this. So let's have a look. We've got a couple of unread messages. We've got a nice bad, nice transfer budget there of two hundred and sixteen million pounds. We should be able to do some good stuff with that. I'm going to try and keep it as realistic as possible. I'm not going to go in for Messi, Ronaldo. Um, I'd like to get Mbappe, but I don't think we can get him in the first season. Um, so I am going to buy players. I'm also going to sell a couple of Deadwood players. I'm not going to do a massive overhaul of the squad. Because I like a lot of these players. So, But we'll see anyway. We'll see what we've got. So American Challenge Cup. So, yeah. So we're going to come up against Real Madrid, Paris, and apparently Atlanta United is uh, also a huge team. Oh, of course, that's the group stage. So a couple of tough games there. Um, shirt sales. Yep. Oh, that objectives. Let's have a quick look at our objectives. Okay, so youth development is to grow one youth academy player by at least five overall points. As soon as they've grown, play them in five matches, either as part of the starting 11 or coming in as a sub. Okay, so that's low priority. So we'll have a look at the Youth Academy. Brand exposure, not worried about that. Okay, wants us, they want us to re reach the final this season and then within three seasons to actually win the cup. That could be quite difficult, but we'll, we'll give it a go. Um, they want us to win the league title and they want us to win the FA Cup. All right. Okay, I won't sin the FA Cup then. Purely because it's an objective, they want us to win it, and nothing for financial. You've got that lovely, lovely money. Okay, transfer market is open. Objectives, we've viewed that. Um, scout reports, I don't tend to use it, I tend to use my noggin. We'll continue doing that, but I might go down there further on the line. And Dylan Davis is a scout and he's saying hello. Hello, Dylan. Goodbye, Dylan. Okay, so first off, let's go to the youth. So we'll hire a scout. Um, George Griffiths looks good. He's English. Set up a scouting network. Um, yeah. Do it in Europe. Might as well do England. Let's, let's start England. Let's put him in there for nine months. And let's, let's see if we can try and get some, some decent players. We'll just do that for now. Um... I'm not too, too fussed about youth. I think I feel like we need uh, some short-term fixes. Um, okay. So what we'll do is we'll have a look at our players. I'm not going to be giving youth too much of a chance. So what I'm going to do for anyone under 21, this is the way I've always done things in FIFA, I will put them on loan. And if they come back from loan and they're not over 75, after, after they turn 21, then I will sell them. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. So, uh, Joshua is gonna go on loan. Let's put all of these dudes on loan. 
Now, uh, Tahith Chong has got some really good potential. Um, it's actually, his contract's actually expiring in 12 months. We might have to look into that. Um, I'm not going to do too much when it comes with contracts just yet. I'll maybe look at that mid-season because I might let some of them go on a free. Um, Angel Gomez, he is an exciting prospect. So we'll take him to the loan list and hopefully uh, we'll be able to actually get a decent uh, club in for him. Uh, good morning, Lewis. Okay, Scott McTominay um, plays in real life, of course. He has got good potential, but I'll put him on loan. Uh, Diogo uh, Dalot, one of our new signings. He's overall 72. He's not going to be a decent backup, in my opinion, of Valencia just yet. So I'll put him on loan. Um, Lee Grant, why did we sign a 35-year-old goalkeeper? Whatever. Okay, now, these... We're now into the main team, so we're going to have to have a think. So, Darmian, I don't think he's good enough. Uh, Luke Shaw, I obviously want to keep going. Uh, Andreas Pereira, I want to keep him in. His contract's actually expiring. Um, you know what, let's uh, delegate the renewal. Oh, hang on. 110, that sounds quite high. What's he on now? Uh, can we say financial? He's on 80k. Alright, well, we'll start him off at 80k. Because you never know, they might actually want to have the same wages. So, 80k, and then don't go higher than 110. I think that's probably the best thing to do. Okay, he's accepted. There we go. 80k, fantastic. Oh! Oh, he's got a release clause of 20 million. Eh, you know what? I don't think he's going to grow that high. Uh, okay. Sure, we want to keep, without a doubt. So we'll delegate that. I need to have a look at see how much the financial aspects. Oh, he's on 80k as, uh, as well. All right, let's start him off at 80k and don't go higher than 125. I want to keep sure. There we go. Look, perfect. Uh, Marwan Fellaini. Okay, we're going to get to our first controversial one. I'm not a massive fan of Fellaini in the game. He's 30. He's not going to go too much higher. I'm going to play with two CDMs. I'll show you that in a bit. I don't think he's good enough. So let's add him to the transfer list. And then hopefully we'll get a good uh, good price for him. Uh, Ledlove will keep uh, Ashley Young. Sorry, Ashley. He's 32. He... he not getting any younger and I want to get a left back in if I'm honest uh, Marcus Rojo we've got five cent central defenders and we need to improve that area anyway I think out of the five that we've got there's Jones and there's Rojo but Jones is a bit younger we want to get rid of one of these two I don't know which one I'm going to sell Rajo. I know he's a bit more versatile because he can play on the left, but I think, yeah, I think I'll do that. So we'll keep Jones. His contract's expiring. I'm going to leave that because I'm not sure if we're going to get a new uh, central defender in this season. I might get, I definitely will be getting one next season. And then Jones going on a free might be okay. Romero will keep us a main backup as we were with Smalling. Uh, Rashford's definitely keeping him. Um, oh, Smalling's contract is actually expiring. Um, I don't know, do we want to keep Smalling? He's on 110k. Right, let's see if we can keep him. Hang on, let's start him off at 100. Don't go higher than 125. Let's see what they want. 110, all right. We'll keep him in. It's going to be our start main starter with Bailly, so we'll we'll keep him in. Definitely having Rashford. And a Herrera, I like him as a player. I will definitely want to keep him. I, I keep doing this, don't I? Financial, he's 130k. Let's um, start him off at 120. And don't go higher than 140. I, 
There we go, 120. Uh, Eric Bailly, we're going to keep. Fred, our major new signing. I'm looking forward to playing as him. Uh, Valencia's contract's expiring. He's 32, so we do need a backup. I know we've got Diogo Dalot, but I don't think he's going to do enough within the year. I'm going to keep Valencia's contract like it is. I know he's our club captain. I know he's a very popular player, but he's not getting any younger, and I think he will... Um, he won't. He won't stay at an eighty-two, the rest of the season. But we'll see. We'll give it another go. Uh, Lingard are going to keep. Uh, Martial definitely, definitely, definitely want to have him. Um, so he's on one hundred and thirty k at the moment. So let's start him off at one hundred and thirty k, and don't go higher than one hundred and seventy-five. I want to keep him at all costs. So let's see. There we go. He's accepted a. Set to an extension. No, one matter. I've been thinking about this when I decided to do this uh, this series. One matter is a great player, really great person. I like him a lot. But in FIFA, I don't, th especially because he's a right mid. He's a right mid, and his pace is a little bit too low. I know pace isn't everything in this game, but ah, uh, his contract is expiring. I can play him as a cam, I suppose. I'll leave that one for now. Matic, we're going to keep. Sanchez, hopefully we can get him back to his form of Arsenal. Uh, Lukaku is a crucial player. Same with Pogba. David De Gea, now this is the big one. His contract's expiring. So he's on 230k. I will give him my right arm. To stay. So we'll start him off at 230. And we won't go higher than 300. It's a lot of wages. But he, a player like him is worth it in my opinion. There we go. He's accepted. Fantastic. Right. That's that done. So let's go into here. And see what we need. The formations. I like the 2 four, two, three, one wide. You've got the two CDMs. And if you tweak them right. Then they can actually... Do both jobs. I'll have the left DM as Pogba. I'll show you in a sec. And then the right DM. That's the central defensive mid. That's the proper tank. So. Let's just uh, organize this. Have Lingard there. Um, I'll tell you what. Yeah. Let's let's put him there. Uh, we'll have Bailly. And we'll have Luke Shaw. Okay. So that's the starting lineup to begin with. Um, let's have a look. We need to get a new right mid, a left back, and a right back. Maybe a new cam. But we'll see what we've got left over. Um, let's sort out the bench. So, what's, uh, we want Romero. Um, let's see, who do you want as a centre-back? And let's put Young in there. Uh, Lindelof as a centre back. Um, let's put Fred in there. Uh, Rashford. I'm going to play Rashford mainly as a striker, not as a left winger, mainly as a striker. And let's put Martial there. Uh, tell you what, I think we might need another cam actually. Possibly. Right, let me sort out the instructions first. So, Lukaku, uh, we want him as a target man. He's big, he's strong, he can get those headers in. And we'll put stay back while attacking on Matic. That should do it. So, free kicks. Who's going to do our free kicks? Uh, no, I'll save that until we've actually bought some players. So, yep. Now, I know who I want to buy. I've done a bit of thinking, and I'm going to go in for some players. So, our left back, I'm going to go for Lucas Hernandez. He had a great uh, last season with, uh, with Atletico Madrid, and he's now 82 rated, I believe. All right, it's not being scouted at the moment, so I want to see what his release clause is. So what, we'll shortlist him and we'll scout him. 
right back. I'm going to go for a Liverpool player. Now, I know I said I wanted to make it... Um, I wanted to make it realistic, and I know that Liverpool would never sell to us and everything like that, but he's 19 years of age. He's an exciting prospect, so we'll scout him and we'll see. He's got six days remaining, we'll see. And I'll tell you the player I want to get as my um, as my right mid. I want to get, not Moussa Dembele, Os Osmane Dembele. So he's worth 30 million. He, he look at those stats. So they the acceleration ninety one, sprint speed of eighty eight, agility eighty nine. Uh you know he's got got decent crossing, ball control, dribbling, and he's only going to get better. He's twenty one years of age. Uh, he's left footed, so he can cut inside. Let's see if they want. So let's shortlist him. Now as a cam, it's a little bit difficult. There's a couple of players I would like to get. But I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave the cam role because if I get Dembele, then I could have Mata and Lingard playing as the cam and put Pereira on the right as a backup. So I might do it that way and just see what we get. I don't want to, as I said, I don't want to make massive changes. So let's go to the transfer hub and we'll have a look. So these guys are being scouted. As also, if you notice... Canadas is 22. Alexander Armstrong, uh, Alexander Armstrong, Alexander Arnold is 19, and Dembele is 21. I like having young players to develop. Um, so let's approach to buy. There I am. That doesn't look like Barcelona's manager, does it? They're good to see you. We've been looking forward to this meeting. Let's get started. Okay. First, let's get on the same page with what type of deal we want to discuss. All right. Uh, skip that. So let's offer a transfer fee. I don't think we'll do a player swap. We'll offer a transfer fee. Let's, um, all right, let's give them the value. Let's go for 30 and see if they want. So we'd be willing to pay a 30 million pound transfer fee for Dembele. Is that something we can agree on? Please say yes. Make this make this extremely easy. We won't let Dembele go for that. We'll sell him for 53. Alright. They're gonna play a bit of hardball. Okay, let's counter it. Um let's go down to 40. Let's see if we can try and meet them in the middle. That's compromise. We're willing to give you a 40. Oh, 40.8. I hate that. Dembele, do we have a deal? Sorry, but our price is set. Ah, oh, okay. Alright. Let's offer 45. Getting closer. 47. I'll accept it. He's a great player. I'll accept it. Okay. So willing to pay the 47.2 million transfer fee. Wonderful. So there we go. Now what we can do is we can actually go and uh, negotiate with him now. I don't want to delegate this because I want this deal to go through. So I want him to sign. Okay. So he's here with his agent. So, the role he wants to play. I'm going to say like an important squad role. I mean, it's not rotation, but I wouldn't say he's crucial yet. Make him important. I'll play most matches, yeah. Great. That's all they're hoping for. Cool. Um. Okay, let's go in how many years... Four or five years. He's 21. Let's go for five years. Yep. Wonderful. They're happy with that. Notice that the agent looks very similar to the manager. I don't like release clauses. I don't want a team like um, like Real Madrid or Bayern Munich or Chelsea or City to come in um, and just snap them out of me. You know. Um. Okay. He's on 125k per week, so let's offer him 125 to begin with. And then a signing bonus of what? A mil? Try that. Oh, 124. Oops, might not be happy with that. Oh, no, he's happy with that. Okay, so I'm happy with 124. Okay, there we go. We have got the deal done, I believe. So, then offers. Yep. 
there we go. Os Osmane Dembele has a, a sign for United. Wonderful. Let's uh, let's put him in in the squad. So Dembele is in there, and let's take up Herrera and put on Mata. And I'll sort this out later. Yep. Okay, first signing done. So we just need got two more and maybe the cam. Not sure yet, uh, but we'll shall see. Right, let's let's move on. Uh, let's go into our training. Let's start off with the drills. I want to get the players with uh, potential, so and that aren't going to be playing every single game. So let's say Rashford for one. Um, anything for shooting? There we go. Speed shooting. That improves the sprint speed, finishing long shots, and shot power. Okay. Um, Martial, I believe, is another one that's going to be doing the same thing. Yes. Anything for crossing, perhaps? You got short pass there, I suppose. Pass to the vision and short pass. Pinpoint crossing. Ah, here we go. Um, yeah, let's go for that. Oh, hang on, that's only bronze, isn't it? All right, let's let's edit that then. Let's make it make it make it a hard one. Um, I'll tell you what we'll do is we'll do. Okay, we'll do it adept attacking scenarios. That should kind of boost it a little bit. Um, so that's fine for the wingers. I might leave Pereira for now. Then Bellet's going to play every week anyway. Uh, these are all going out on loan. Centre-backs. Uh, yeah, let's get Lindelof in. Uh, adept uh, defensive scenario. Yeah, let's go for that. Got any full-backs? Yeah, let's go for Luke Shaw. I don't think he's going to be playing if we get Hernandez in. So, I kind of wanted to boost his speed slightly. Just dribbling. Yeah, let's do that for now. And we'll leave that because I think we'll, if we get Alexander Armstrong in. Alexander Arnold! Why do I keep doing that? Alexander Armstrong is the presenter of, what was it called? That TV show on BBC. What's it called? Ah, oh, well, whatever. It's fine. Okay, done. Right, okay, training done. Okay, let's, uh, let's skip ahead. Okay, so we've got a transfer offer for Ashley Young from Juventus, of all people. Okay, so what are they, they're offering? He's worth 7 million, and they're offering us 5.7. Uh, tell you what, I'll, I'll delegate that. Let's... Uh, don't really want to sell him less. Okay, let's start off with, with, with eight. Let's see if we can push it up to eight. Ideally, I want seven, and we won't go lower than their final offer. I don't want to spend too much time with that. Um, no, I do not want to sell Valencia yet. Sorry, Bayern. So we'll get rid of that. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll play our main squad at the moment against Paris Saint-Germain and we'll shall sim that. And it's going to be a tough game actually. I'm not sure if we'll, we'll win this. Oh, in the first minute Lukaku scores. Nice one, Romelu Lukaku. Atlanta United have actually taken the lead against Real Madrid. That's interesting. Oh, Luke Shaw's got an injury. Oh, my word. But Lukaku's got a brace. He's got a second. Are we making substitutes? Yes, we are. Dembele scored on his debut. Not his competitive debut, but still. And then 4-0. I thought this was going to be a hard game. Wonderful. 4-0. A nice 4-0 victory for Man United. Cool. Um, right, what's up with... He's going to be out for seven days. Ah, okay. we got to get in Hernandez as soon as we can. Uh, Leverkusen wants to buy Damian for 4.3 million. Um, okay, we'll delegate again. 
yeah, that sounds fine by me. Let's see if we can try and get a little bit more cash. The more cash we get, the more chance we can actually buy a complete, an absolute star at uh, our camera roll. Um, okay, final report for Trent Alexandra Arnold. Pointless. That was the TV show that Alexander Armstrong uh, does. Got it. All right. Okay. So he's 12.5 million and only 32k wages. We should be able to get this guy. Yeah, we should be able to sign him. Tell you what we'll do then is uh, we will go and try and buy him. Let's transfer hub. Okay. Approach to buy. So 12.5 million. Let's uh, see if Mr. Jurgen Klopp. Nice to meet you, Jurgen. I don't think I'd ever see that. A Liverpool manager going to the Man United manager's office. Okay. Start off with the initial offer. Don't need to see all that. We've seen all that. So, offer transfer fee. Uh, let's give you the 12.5 million. Let's see if that will tempt you. You'll have to do better than that. 20 million. All right. Let's counter that with... We don't want to annoy him. Let's try 16. Let's go for 16. Sticking to the price tag. Fine. Let's... Oh, you know what? Let's let's give you an even 20. Let's try... Let's get this over the... Over the... Uh, over the hill. Come on. Can we do it? Okay. There we go. Nice to see you, Jürgen. We'll... Uh, next, I'll see you in Anfield while we beat you. Maybe. <laughs> um, all right. Let's negotiate this one. Okay, let's uh, skip some of this. Um, I'm going to put him as a rotational player. He's going to probably play a little bit more. But I, I don't particularly want him as a starter just yet. Oh, he wants a five-year deal. Fine by me. No release clauses. I do not like them. Um, all right. So. What's well, signing bonus of 270,000. A bonus of five clean sheets with 195,000. And then... That's very reasonable. Why would you want to have less money? Maybe he just really wants to sign for United. But there we go. We have got ourselves... Our next new player, which is Trent Alexander-Armstrong. Arnold! This, my brain doesn't work. It does not work. I don't have a brain. So we will put him in team. Uh, da, 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 where is he? There he is. Excellent. So we got ourselves a new player. Fantastic. Um, amongst all of that, we also have agreed to sell Darmian. Oh, okay, for the initial offer. Um, that's fine. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, that's fine. Let's hope that he signs. He has a new lease of life over in Germany. Okay. Monaco wants to buy Rojo for 13 mil. I think that's quite reasonable. Yeah, it's very reasonable. It's more than he his value. All right, Monaco, you got more money than sense, clearly. Uh, Chong wants to a chance to play. You know what? Let's set it set it all up. So let's put Chong on. Let's uh, start him instead of Dembele. Also, let's put Arnold on as well. Um, let's put Fred in for Pogba. And... Yeah, let's do that. Oh, hang on. Should we put Lindelof in? Yeah, let's put Lindelof in. All right, so we're going to have a bit of a varied team for the, uh, for the next match. So Chong wants in. Chong gets a match. And... Okay, here we go. I bet we lose this now. Especially because they did beat Real Madrid. And Smalling has scored. Not bad, 1-0. Not a lot happening. No bookings, no injuries, no goals. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What just happened? <laughs> okay, it's 2-1. Lingard scored and then Atlanta got another one back. Alexander-Arnold is injured. Rashford makes it 3-1. Only one substitution? Come on. 
on game. All right. It's an injury to Alexander-Arnold in his first match. International management. I am not going to take part in that. It's going to be out for three days. Not bad. Thanks for the chance. You're welcome. You're welcome. Now go out on loan. Okay. Um, player development for this week. Load the previous one. Can't have Shaw or Arnold yet, can we? All right, we'll we'll leave that. We might come back to that because they might be able to play again. Okay, quick training. Yes, done. Okay, next one is the big one, Real Madrid. Ah, oh no. They ah. Oh. Juventus have rejected it. They don't want to sign Ashley Young now. Okay, well. Lucas Hernandez is twenty three worth twenty three million. Probably spend about thirty then. Forty six thousand. All right, let's get ourselves a new left back. Oh, so transfer hub. Approach to buy. Yes. Okay. We yeah, we've seen all this. They've not changed this from last year at all. Okay. Let's let's give you twenty three. Oh, let's see how much you want that for. Agree on that? 31.6 million. Uh, okay, remove the salon clause. Propose new transfer fee. Let's try 27 and a half. What's 33? What is this? I should have gone with the original offer. Okay, 30 million. That's how much I thought I was going to pay. Thickens the price tag. I don't like selling clauses. Okay, 32 and a half. You have to accept that. It's 10 million over his value. Do you have a deal? Oh, fine. That's how you can see that you sometimes can mess things up. Okay. Let's negotiate. This is a bit of a longer one. Uh, today, just because we're setting up, we'll get to the uh, end of preseason. Okay, Lars Lucas. He wants to. He wants to sign for us. He wants to be an important player. Yes, that's fine. He wants five-year deal. Wonderful. Uh, doesn't want to add a release clause. Fantastic. Yep, I am fine with that. Okay, let's get straight to it and talk money. So forty-six and a half thousand. So let's give him fifty. And a signing bonus of 250k. Let's see if that tickles his pickle. Is your pickle tickled? What? The way did your offering get are insulting? No, my client is no longer interested in joining your club. Oh man. Oh, well, that's a bummer. You know what? I'm going to need to find another a replacement for him now. Ah. Oh. Okay. Hmm. And who else can we sign? I suppose we could go... I don't really want to sign, um, like, Alexandro or anyone like that, do I? Maybe Grimaldo? Grimaldo's a decent player. I'll look at Grimaldo. Is that the one? Grimaldo, there we go. 18 and a half million. Alright, let's see if we can sign him. I can't believe. It's just an opening offer, mate. You could have... <sighs> ah, sorry, what's going on here? Oh, yeah, sorry. Transfer hub. I suppose we'll remove you from the shortlist. I didn't realise we annoyed him so much. Okay, let's let's see what Benfica want. I know we're all getting sick of seeing this. So let's offer him twenty, like twenty mil. You agree on that? Uh, counter, right? Remove that. Thirty-five. 
30 mil. He's a young player, so I understand why they want to sell him. Sorry, minimum? I don't like that. 32,600,000? No, I'm going to give you 100,000 less. Just so you know that I'm alpha. I'm alpha. You don't tell me what to pay. I tell you what I pay. There we go. Yes. Yes, SL Benfica's rep. Yeah, you got played, son. You got played. Yes. Now, don't muck things up. We can't afford to lose another one. All right. So, yeah, he wants to be an important player. That's fine by me. Okay, length of the contract. Let's try a five-year deal. Okay, that's what he's after. No release clause. And that's what he wants, 38,000. There we go. Okay, so we've got a player of similar ability. Maybe not quite as defensive apt, but great attacking-wise. Ah, so annoying. I could try I could have tried again in a week. I could have waited a week. That's really annoying. Oh, it's fine. I got Grimaldo. I'm happy. I'm happy. This is a it was my backup anyway. So, yes, Grimaldo is in. Wonderful. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Let's move ahead. So, we have got the match with Real Madrid. There we go. Look, Grimaldo has signed for 32.5 million. I think we might have overpaid. You might have overpaid. Yeah, it's fine. Tell you what, because we're going to go up against Real, let's put on our main team. So let's uh, put Pogba back in. Let's put Sanchez back there. Uh, let's buy and Valencia. And let's sort out the bench. Now that I'm pretty happy with my team. I think that's all we would need. So Shaw is back, but he's still a little bit injured. Okay, that looks good. Yes, let's save those changes. And let's get on, because this is getting to be a long episode already, and I've not actually played a match yet. I'll tell you what, we will skip that. 4-0 against Real Madrid. Lingard, Pogba, Valencia and Lukaku with the goals. I'm really looking forward to getting back, getting into this. Okay. So, Rajo has been sold. And Darmian has been sold. And we have also got some money coming in from the Champions Cup. Okay. Uh, let's uh, run the training again. So, we shall put Alexander-Arnold in and... Then what we'll do is we will yeah, race against the clock. And the same for Luke Shaw as well. Um, where was it? Race against the clock. So let's simulate them. Wonderful. So they're going to start getting a little bit better now. Right. We've got another match against Barcelona coming up. Oh, we've got a transfer offer for Chris Smalling from West Ham. Oh, 20 million though, that's a pretty good one. But I'll reject it for now. I don't really know who to sign as a centre-back at the minute. So I'll leave it for now. Uh, Lukaku? No. Lock offers. No way I'm selling Lukaku. Not to Liverpool, not to anyone. Jog on. Right. Barcelona again. No, Barcelona for the first time. Are we going to win? Skip. 3-1. Sanchez, Lingard, and Lukaku with the goals. Excellent. I'm speeding through this because I want to get to the games as soon as possible, and I want to kind of uh, finish our squad. Okay. Uh, I've got a press conference to go to, so I think this is the final now. Might be the final. Okay, so I'm going to make a comment on us. I'm going to praise us. We've had a great uh, preseason. You know what? I've just had it in my head. Let's get a cam. <sighs> this is the cam I'm going for. Dybala. 78 million. Can we afford him? Let's have a look. Oh. 
Okay. Let's leave it for a couple of days. Let's leave it a couple of days and then I'll make my decision. So we've got a transfer offer for Young. Let's not muck about. Let's just accept that. There you go. Off to Galatasaray you go. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking Dybala. Okay, alone. Okay, let's do that. That's fine. This is the final of the Challenge Cup. I could have put another play, players in, but I want to get the forward momentum going for my team. So they're warming up. Not a lot happening. Booking for, for Bayern. Goal for Bayern. Oh, let's skip. I don't want to look. 3-1 and an injury. Okay. 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 Maybe I should have accepted that 20 million. Uh, it was good to see. Yeah, well. Brained ankle. He's going to be out for three weeks. Well, it will give a chance for players like... Um, like Lindelof to, to play and stuff. So transfer offer for uh, Pogba from Spurs. Yo. Uh, Hamilton's been loaned and Ashley Young has been sold. So what does that do for our balance? Let's adjust the wage budget. Uh, let's, yeah, about that. And let's get ourselves a Paolo Dybala. I think this is going to cost a lot of money. This could be our, our biggest signing. So offer a transfer fee and we are going to offer them... Let's start off with 85. Talking silly numbers here, but he is he's young and he's one of the best players in the world already. 113 million, including a sell-on clause. Okay, so we'll remove the sell-on clause, propose a transfer fee. Let's try that. 150 mil. I could have possibly gotten for cheaper, but 70. Oh, fine. Yeah, an extra 2 million. Okay, done. Okay. Now, let's not mess up the negotiations. <laughs> Please, let's not mess up the negotiations. Okay. He's a crucial player. He is going to be a crucial player. Yes, he's happy. Four-year deal. Oh, I would have liked for him for five, but yep, yeah, that's fine. Got to go fast, got to go fast because I'm scared. Uh, doesn't want to add a release clause. That's... That's good for me. That's good for me. Uh, it wants to give it 150 weekly. Um, all right, that is fine by me. We've got ourselves Dybala. Fantastic. I think we've done really well. We got ourselves Paolo Dybala. Let's throw him in the squad. There he is, Paolo Dybala. Wonderful. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, he's going to take my free kicks. Uh, without a doubt. Um, uh, penalties... Yep. Yeah, he's going to do everything. He's going to do everything. Um, now corners. Let's, uh, let's go for Pogba. Uh, on the left. And then Dybala on the right. Get nice and swinging corners going in. Or is it out swinging? We'll find out. Okay. Done. Now, I think that is basically it. So, welcome, Dybala. There he is, showing off his skills. Have it. Paolo Dybala has signed for Manchester United. So, let's finish up with the training. And, excellent. We have got our first skill up with our youth team. I say our youth team, our younger players. And that is Anthony Martial has moved up to an 84 rated. That is good. We are now approaching... Approaching the end of the sea, um, end of the preseason. And uh, let's have a look. Yep, 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 yep. All these loan offers coming in. Gomez, fantastic. Yep. And I think our first one against is coming up. So, oh, Gomez is rejected. Oh, fair enough. And 
Juventus wants Fellaini. Sure. Okay. Okay, so Gomez wants to go to Club Bruges. And we've, oh, okay, we've also got our scouting updates. So he's got potential of 76 to 94. Straight away, we have got ourselves. Yeah, there we go. Oh, 80 to 94. The goalkeeper. 77 to 94. Let's sign all these. Uh, let's reject him. We don't want him. So these ones have got a potential of 90. Well, let's wait and see if they get to, to 70. So we'll scout them for another another month. Okay, we've got ourselves three players. Uh, let's run the training. We are approaching the end of this. And anyone got up? No, of course not. Oh, of course not. Oh. Laney has sold. Right. We've got a couple of transfers here. Uh, 30 odd million for Lingard. Nope, not for me. And 50 million for sure. Nope. I don't really want to sell a lot of players, if I'm honest. I've sold the ones I wanted to sell. So Fellaini's gone. And I, to be honest, I think, barring any unforeseen circumstances, or a, a player going up for sale that is, uh, is really, really good, and that I can bag on the cheap, I, I think I'm okay. I mean, what's what's our budget like? 40 million. So our budget. 80, 20. Okay, 34 million. So we could get in another player, but we're going to leave it alone. No. Leave him alone. Uh, it's not original. But uh, Diego Dallo has got a year long loan to Girona. My Girona. And I think that is it. Okay. The upcoming match. Lingard wants to play. He wants to start the game. The Dybala. Hmm. Maybe. I'll give him the give him the go. I'll give him a go. Actually, I might put him on the right instead of Dembele. But anyway, that's where we're gonna gonna call it there for today, guys. A very long episode, yes, I know, but I wanted to get through preseason. And well, we did. So join us for the next episode where we're gonna start the season against Leicester. Fingers crossed, we'll have a good one. But we'll see. <laughs> I've not played this yet. I might be terrible. Anyway, if you want to see more, uh stay subscribed. And don't forget to check out the social media links and check me out on Patreon as well. Anyway, as always, my name's been Vern. This has been FIFA 19. Until next time.